Durko, guys, this is Durko. Welcome to a Pokemon Showdown post commentary. I won't be able to get a legacy lock, adventure red legacy lock up today because, uh, yeah, today's my birthday. Yay, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm going out with friends and family and stuff today, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Real sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, but you know, I got a showdown up for you guys, so let's get into the showdown. Let's do some couple, two random battles, I believe, we do this episode. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, we start off with a battle scenario that is not good for me. A Keldeo versus a Gothitelle, and I can't switch out, so I just go for Surf to do as much damage as I can, because that is 41%, and it has a Psychic, which does 71%. And, uh, most, I'll be able to get another Surf off until, yeah, this, this is a terrible start. Yeah, you, as you can see, I have an Arceus Rock on my team. He has put in a lot of work, but, you know, I won't be, it's not enough to win me the game. You got some powerful folks. I made a, I made a lot. I made a couple misplays too. Like here, I got a bold beat. I go for the trick here, I believe. But uh, should have realized he might want. He might would want to save his god to tell. I gave a choice. The choice scarf to an infernate, which he probably doesn't mind that much. <laughs> he probably likes likes the choice scarf. I mean, he would prefer the, you know, uh, ah, he would prefer the life orb even more, but. Maybe I would have preferred the life orb on him <laughs> even more, because that flare bush would have done a, would have done like 45% damage to him rather than 35. But can't do anything about it. I think I go straight into my uh, Arceus Rock, because I know I can take any hit he sends up sends out on me. I was going for an earthquake because I know it's gonna hit something hard, and it does. Yeah, I mean he does man he does switch out like I predicted. Uh, I think he switches out into his Gothitelle. It doesn't kill. Gothitelle is tanky. Taking an earthquake from an Arceus. Got a little buddy. Not taking two. Not taking two. Goodbye, got to tell. We knew you well. So yeah, he did that was good on his part saving. He's got to tell his death fodder. I've lost two Pokemon. He's lost one. He's in the better scenario right now than I am. So here he tries to be he's, 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 he's trying to be a little fancy here. He does a double switch while I because he's I don't know what he's predicting me to switch into. He's seen all of my Pokemon. He double switches into Leafeon. Um, and I just go for the Will-O-Wisp because I see no reason not to. Leafeon is a threat, but he cannot touch my Rotom fan. Um, so, go for a nice, nice and powerful Will-O-Wisp to burn it. Because Leafeon does become the bane of my existence later on, though. Uh, uh you'll see. You'll, you know, you'll just see. You'll see this Leafeon doing, like, a lot of work. This guy's taking forever to make a move. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I paused it at that point to, until he made a move. I mean, Return was really his only move, and now I can take any hit from this thing, and not care, which is good, which is very good. Uh, here comes, uh, after this turn I make another misplay, it sucks, but, uh, you know what, it happens, it happens. I use, I go for the Pain Split, when I should have known he was going to go for, like, the Flare Blitz and lose HP when he uses it, so, I, I'd gain minimal amount of HP back from the Pain Split. I should have just gone for the T-Bolt, uh, because, as you can see, uh, I, c I think I can live one uh, Flare Blitz, yeah, I live one Flare Blitz, I mean, I still managed to kill him, but I'd be at, I'd be in a better, I think I'd be at a better HP, I think I'd be at, better, at a better HP, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think it really mattered, that. it didn't really matter, it honestly didn't really matter, he, I'm predicting, I'm thinking he's going to send out his Leafeon, and I'm correct to think that, because, well, yeah. Uh, Return did 28% damage when it wasn't burned. Now that it's burned, it'll do enough damage to kill me. He gets a crit here. Doesn't really. Move. I mean, it's part of the game. Can't do anything about it. Um, I just go for a reflect so that burn leaf don't even has even has even more trouble. Uh, and uh, basically after this turn, just it's pretty much downhill because he has a yeah he has a fortress. <coughs> Legitimately, anything everything on my team cannot nothing on my team can handle a fortress. So, uh, I predict that he's gonna go set up rocks, but I just wanted to see how much, if Giga Drain could break his sturdy a little bit, but it really did nothing. So, I think I switched right into Ursaring. If I knew he had, he, he ends up revealing that he has a Toxic Spike screen. If I knew he had that, I would have waited for him to stick one Toxic Spike out, and then switch in my Ursaring, because I'd rather have it poisoned than Toxic Poisoned. And then you're gonna. I go for the facade here. It does. Not, I, I was thinking about going for the swords dance, 
but I thought Facade would do enough damage. Yeah, yeah, it, it does nothing. <laughs> it's gonna do nothing. So I go for the Swords Dance, go for the Crunch, it does like, it also does nothing. I'm ahead of myself right now. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a step back, take nice, nice two, three steps back. Alright, so Facade not, does no damage whatsoever, he gets another layer of spikes up. I go for the SD, no, I go for the Crunch. Oh, I guess I go for the SD first. Okay, my bad. My bad, I take that back. I go for the SD first, and then I go for the Crunch. Yep, yep. He gets a bug bite, 9% damage, I'm not really scared of that. I go for the crunch, it does not kill. I wasn't doing, um, I, I, I don't really want to make excuses, but yeah, I should have done the math. Because a plus 2 facade would do more damage. He gets a crit again, you know, that's actually really bad. Because, yeah, now I'll die to toxic this turn. If he didn't get a crit with another 8% damage, I would have been able to live another turn of toxic. Uh, yeah, it sucked. I realized why, and I also forgot that I, I was quick feet, not uh, guts. That's why I didn't do as much damage as I thought I would do. That's why I needed the swords dance. But uh, yeah, now they're both dead. And uh, it doesn't really matter what I send out because I think he just sends out his. Uh, oh, no, another Pokemon he hasn't revealed yet, so. And it forces me to switch out. The Pinsir, yeah. Um, there's nothing I can do to this Pinsir, so. I just, I switch back out into RCS Rock, he goes for the sub, good play on his part. Uh, even if I went for the Giga Drain, it would have done pathetically, like, no damage whatsoever, even though Mega Pinter is squishy. Uh, yeah, Mega Pinter behind a substitute is annoying. If had, uh, I don't think he had the Swords Dance, that's why he didn't go for the SD. Um, thankfully, I have RCS Rock, I go for the Stone Edge. Um, it hits. It hits. I think it hits. Does it hit? I don't think it hits. Oh, wait, no, no, Yeah, it hits two times in a row. Thank God. He goes for the Earthquake. I eat it up. I know I'm faster than him, so I just go for another Stone Edge. If I miss the Stone Edge, I pretty much lose the game. Um. So, yeah. He goes with a Quick Attack. Does it get as much damage off? <coughs> Would have been... Actually... Well, nah, Toxic would have killed me if uh, I missed a stone edge that turn. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, he's going to send to the Leafeon. I'm not sure if Leafeon's faster or not, so... <coughs> well, it doesn't really matter, because he ends up going for the SD. <coughs> Ouch. Revealing that he is faster than me. Which, uh... Makes me very afraid of any attack he's gonna <coughs> throw in at me. <coughs> I needed to go for the recover anyway because if I didn't, next time I switch Arceus in, the rocks would have killed him. X Scissor does a lot of damage. And now, since he's fast, since he is faster than me, he can just go for the X Scissor. And uh, he basically wins the game like that. As you see, as you will see in the next like 30 seconds, uh, Leafeon just goes ham. It's ham. Ham sandwich. Alright, that's that. That leaf gun is a thread and random. And then moves like leaf blade return and uh, X is their ah good, good neutral damaging moves. But anyway, this is way he's gonna go for the X is your again, I believe. Yep, and that doesn't kill me, but I miss a stone edge, so it doesn't really matter. If I didn't miss a stone edge, I think stone edge would have killed. And then, whatever, depending on what his last Pokemon, I don't know what his last Pokemon would have been, but depending on what his last Pokemon was, I might be able to kill it. But since Stone Edge did miss, can't do anything about that. Uh, yeah, it's gotta take the loss, took, took the loss. Um, uh, it's a close battle though, good battle though. <laughs> and now we're gonna go into the second one, let's do this. One loss, oh well. What happens, everybody loses sometimes. Not everybody can win. And everybody can be, and yeah, now we're starting off with a nice and powerful uh, Deox attack. I just go for a super power because, you know, why the heck not? My team is really powerful. <laughs> My team is disgustingly powerful. But, uh, I have a friggin' Aegis Slash with eight HP Ice. I was just like, yes. Yes. He goes for the Shell Smash. I'm, I was thinking he was going to go for the Shell Smash, so. It didn't even matter if he didn't go for the Shell Smash, if he, even if he hit me. I had the stash, so I wasn't scared of anything. Knocks me down to my stash. I go for that. That's powerful. And uh, 
I mean, this misplay didn't really matter in this game, but uh, the next turn I do make a misplay. I start the timer because this man. Yeah. I should have gone for the Ice Beam or Stealth Rocks. I should have got. Preferably Stealth. I don't know why I switched out. I even, I'm even second guessing myself right now. I'm like, should I switch out? Should I attack? And uh, yeah, I just switch. I end up just choosing to switch out into Speedcoon. And he kills me with a pursuit. Uh, good play by him. Um, I should have gone for rocks or ice beam, but it happens. Let's go to Speedcoon. Get a free cop mind up, because I think he'd be scared of my Speedcoon, so he'd switch out, which he does into his Bronzong. <coughs> so I get one cop mind up for free. I think I get I go for another one or I go for a, yeah I go for another one and he goes for a hypnosis and uh, yeah so I'm go for I just go for a scald because I think he's gonna hit, hit hypnosis this turn luckily I get the burn unfortunate for him he misses another hypnosis um, so now I'm thinking I have a chest of berries I'm just going for another combine and I do and I get 2.5 and I eat it eat my chest of berry and then I scald him to kill him for the turn nice and powerful. Um, he brings out this threatening, threatening Pokemon of his sock. Uh, I make a misplay here. <laughs> I make a big. I make another misplay here, but it doesn't it doesn't really affect the game that much? Uh, I'm just, okay. They suck. So I go for the Scald, of course. It's my only. It's my best attack against him. He goes for close combat. I'm kind of scared because he's faster than me. So I go for the Scald. I knock him down to a sturdy. I go for another. Sc my thought process here was that uh, if I go for rest. I don't know what my top boss was, because he could kill me in two more close combats anyway. So I go for the rest, get all my HP back. Um, I just, uh, I go for, I think I go for, I just switch out to Age Slash now, because I realize I made a mistake. <laughs> and uh, Age Slash is just like, sup. He does a good prediction here, he predicts the King Shield or Shadow Claw. So, uh, I mean, I, or, well, he, or the ghost move, which he predicts well. Don't get me wrong. Or he just thought that he wanted to save Sock. So I just go for the King Shield. Um, he hits the King Shield because he's trying to pursuit me, pursuit trap me, which doesn't really affect me because I'm slower than him, so I'm not scared of him pursuing me. Because I go for the HP Ice, get that crit, and I think I I'm I go for the King Shield because I wanted to get back in defense for him if he's gonna pursuit me. I mean, his only attack is Pursuit, so if I don't switch out, I, sh I should've just gone, I mean, it didn't really matter because he uses Roost, so he loses his flying typing anyway, but uh, I played it safe. He does a maximum of 10% damage to me through uh, Pursuit, so it doesn't really matter, I, I mean, yeah, I didn't really care. So Pursuit, HP Ice, um, I think he predicts me to go to, uh, un he predicts me to not use, to use King Shield, but I... I'm like, you know what, I think he's going to predict, predict that, so I go for the HP Ice. And uh, I, I would have killed either Orphiro or his Sock, so I was like, whatever. And he's got the Carnivine, I just go for the Shadow Claw or Shadow Ball, I don't remember what I go for on it. Or I, I'm pretty sure I don't end up not, don't switching out, not switching out, because I'm not scared of it. Uh, I should have, I've used Carnivine in Random Battle before, so I put the stuff in the background. I should have known that he was going to go for a knockoff. Yeah, so he goes for, <laughs> now this turn he's going to go for the knockoff, and I'm just like, uh, oh, whatever. Alright, it's a dead age slash. <laughs> I needed to break his sub anyway, so I go straight into Delphox. Um, I just go for the flamethrower, because I can hit everything on his team that I've seen, at least for neutral damage. And the mess that comes in gets hit for neutral damage, nice 30%. Um, it goes for the thunderbolt, while I go for the shadow ball, which I don't care, because one more shadow ball and it's dead. Um, I was thinking he might switch into his Firo here, but uh, he just takes the hit. He just takes it, I guess. And uh, pretty much Delphox. I think Delphox can kill this thing. Oh wait, never mind. Return. He manages to return me. Uh, who do I go? I go. Yeah, I'm just, I, I think at this point I legitimately think to myself, you know what? Let's just end this. I go into Xerneas. Yeah. Like, you know I can take any hit from the, from a Firo. I can just Geomancy and uh, Moonblast to win. Uh, I mean, I have Thunder, but I wasn't gonna risk the miss. So Moonblast to win. Crit did not, probably did not matter there. I'm a two times special attack, uh, plus two special attack Xerneas, and Carnivine is not gonna like it either. 
And uh, yeah, there's the game. We win one, we lose one. I had a really OP team this time, but uh, everybody makes. I made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. As you saw, I mean, I could have played a little bit better, even though I did win in the end. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Twitter in the description, as always. Uh, sorry, I couldn't get a legacy lock up today, but you know, got my birthday. I gotta go have my family. I'll try to get one out. I'll probably get one out tomorrow. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, peace, guys. Hope you have a nice day.